Today, in Lesson 7, students investigated the sums and differences of decimals, and there was really three types that I wanted um, to expose them to. Okay, I love this lesson because every problem is represented as fractions, and the students first had to understand decimal place value. Okay, this is the 100s place, this is the 10s place, this is the ones place. This decimal, we usually say the word and. Um, the decimal is a, really a placeholder separating whole numbers from fractional pieces. This is the tenths place, the one hundredths place, the thousandths place, and finally the ten thousandths place. Okay, so we briefly discussed this in class today. So these two are very easy to convert to um, decimals because they have a denominator that is a power of 10. 25 and 3 tenths is written as this, and we're adding that to 376 and 77 one hundredths. I had the kids first start out by drawing it horizontally, okay, and then I had them write the decimal addition vertically, reminding them of the importance to line up not only to the decimal point, but also the place values, making sure the tens were with the tens, the ones were with the ones, the tenths were with the tenths, and adding any zeros if needed to make sure that the decimal points were the same value. Okay, both of these numbers are in the hundredths. Okay, when we add these two numbers together, The answer is 402 and 7 one hundredths. Okay, this one was fairly easy because the denominators were both powers of 10. If you go to something like this in example two, the students and I focused on something that we've been doing with ratios all along and it's scaling them up. I took the fractions one fifth and one half and I tried to scale them up to a power of 10. 5 times 2 gives you 10. Whatever you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So this can be rewritten as 426 and 2 tenths, or 0.2. 1 half can also be scaled up to 5 tenths. And we're going to subtract 275 and 5 tenths from 462, or 426 and 2 tenths. Again, the students were encouraged to line up not only the decimal point, but also the place values. Okay, and then add or subtract. For this question that we completed in class, students should have gotten an answer of 150 and 7 tenths. The only other option, or the only other problem that I exposed the children to in this lesson, came as a challenge problem, and that was right here, and I allowed them to use a calculator for this. Razel wants to determine how much gasoline he and his wife use in a month. He calculated that he used 78 and one-third gallons of gas last month. Razel's wife used 41 and three-eighths of gas last month. How much total gas did Razel and his wife use last month? Round your answer to the nearest one hundredth. Well, the students and I talked about scaling one third up to a power of 10. And they noticed that three times nothing is going to give them a power of 10 in our denominator. So they could not use that method in this case. So then I stressed to them the importance of looking at the fraction and asking them what it means. This is really one divided by three. So the students at this time were allowed to use their calculator and they did one divided by three. And that was their decimal equivalent to one third. So I had the students round it to the nearest one hundredths place or two spots after the decimal which you would look at the third number. If it's five or higher, we would round the hundredths place up. But since it's not, we're going to leave the hundredths place alone. Okay, and we're going to add that to 41 and 3 eighths. Again, eight cannot be scaled. We can't scale eight up to a power of 10. Doesn't go in evenly to 10 or 100 or 1,000. So instead, I'm going to use my calculator for this fraction. I'm going to take three. Ooh. 
I'm going to take 3 and divide it by 8 on my calculator, and I'm going to round it to the nearest hundredths place. Okay, this is 41.38, because this is 5 or higher, and we round up the hundredths place one spot. Then I had the students line them up vertically according to the decimal point as well as their place value. And this is a total gas used per month. Dropping your decimal down, it should be 119.71 gallons of gas for the month. And this is a preview of our lesson from Lesson 7.